Hello everyone, this is going to be a reading for Sagittarius in love for the month of December, single Sagittarius's. So let's see, what can you tell me about single Sagittarius's in the month of December? What's going to happen for single Sagittarius's in the month of December? Please tell me about single Sagittarius's. Who's coming towards them in the month of December? Who's coming towards single Sagittarius's in December? Um, wow, well, this is great. You know what? There might be a reconciliation here. Uh, yeah, I, I know this is a reading for singles, right? So I suppose that you're not interested in an ex, but I see a reconciliation here. Uh, look, um, the um, judgment card is a card of the re uh, reconciliation. Then you've also got the temperance, which means bringing balance, balance being, bringing peace. It could be that this is somebody from your, your past who you argued with. And there's also the uh, six of wands, a card of a card of success. It means that you finally manage to reach some sort of resolution with someone, and I suppose it's somebody from your past, since it's um, you know uh, clearing the air, making things right, that sort of thing. I suppose it's somebody from your past, Sagittarius. Um, that's interesting because we were asking about someone new. Now, if you, if this isn't a person from your past, um, it could be that this is, um, let's say, um, a person you've been flirting um, with for a long time, or um, it has this person has something to do with the past. If it's not an ex, uh, you know, it's someone who you've known. Let's say you didn't know whether they like you back. You didn't know whether they want to commit to you. Uh, you, you. You didn't know something. It was unclear. Well, finally, this month, you are going to reach a resolution. But as I said, I do not see this as being a completely new person. Yeah, someone you've never seen before. No. Okay, let's see. What are this person's intentions with Sagittarius? What does this person want to do with Sagittarius? What are their intentions with Sagittarius? Okay, so we've got um, an, a man and a woman here. A knight of wands with a queen of pentacles. Well, it depends. This could go, uh, you know, either way for um, each, uh, each uh, gender. If you're the male Sagittarius, then you are this uh, knight of uh, wands. And this is uh, the female you're going to be dealing with, possibly an earth sign woman. Um, in any case, this is a serious woman, you know, a, a woman who has her life together. Um, quite independent um, and um, just, you know, a plain out decent person. Now, if you're the female Sagittarius, it could be that um, you are going to take on this role or at least maybe this person sees you as, as that, as a, as a woman who, you know, is serious, has her own money, is independent, self-reliant, doesn't need anyone. And uh, also, this is the guy who is coming towards you this night of uh, wands. Uh, he could be a fire sign like you. Um, I, I suppose this is a young man, young meaning under the age of 32. Uh, or if he isn't um, that young, then um, he, he's a man who has a very youthful vibe, you know, a kind of guy who likes to have fun, go go here, go there, you know, travels all, all the time, even short trips. But uh, he has a lot of high energy and <laughs> he has to do something with it all the time, let's say. Okay, um, let's see. What's the advice for single Sagittarius's? What should single Sagittarius's do with this new person that's coming into their life? What should single Sagittarius's do? What's their advice? Okay, you have to sneak in the night <laughs> to meet this person. This is uh, the moon and then the, um, the seven of swords. That was my first impression. You have to sneak out in the night to meet this person. If you are very young and let's say, I don't know, 
you live with your parents, you might have actually get out of the house without them knowing. Uh, if you also, uh, at the same time, if you have a curfew where you live, you know, you have to be in the house by a certain hour, uh, you're definitely going to ignore this and you're going to meet this person at night, right? Uh, now, if that's not the case and it's it, the moon card doesn't actually signify the night time, you, then your advice, Sagittarius, is to be a bit mysterious with this guy. Not necessarily shady. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's kind of strange if that the cards would advise you to be a bit shady with him. But at least don't reveal everything, right? When when you meet him, don't um, don't tell him everything about yourself. Keep some things to yourself. Um, now. Uh, it, it it could even mean deception, be deceptive, whatever that means to you, Sagittarius. If you know then this guy that this guy in the past was a jerk to you or something like that, the cards are definitely tell, telling you to pay him back in the sense that you know treat him like he treated you. I don't know. <laughs> it depends on the, each person's situation. Okay. All right. Now, let's see, what's the outcome? What's going to happen between the single Sagittariuses and this new person who is coming into your, their life? What's their, the outcome between them? Single Sagittariuses and this new person. Okay. Um, you know what, Sagittarius, I have the impression that you're not actually going to reconcile with this person. Um, they might come towards you, you know, with a peace offer. You might actually accept it, you know, as in we're good now. I'm not upset with you anymore, but I don't see you being with them in the future. It might be that this is why your advice, you know, was this sneaky card and is it as in, uh, you know, just um, withdraw yourself from the the this situation, from the whole situation. Because in the future, I see here the Justice, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Uh, the Justice card is a card that means um, making things right, uh, putting things in order. So I do think that you might have a conversation with this person. You know, uh, like, we're good now. It's fine. Yeah. But in, I still see you being single in the future. So that's why I said I don't think anything is going to happen between you and this person. Um, yeah. I, I, I just have the impression that this is um, a peace offering and uh, that's it. You know, you're going to reconcile for the holiday but not actually get back together. Okay, so uh, that's it. That was your reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye for now.